Well, yeah. let's talk about working with mo with legacy applications since we have lots of them. Sure. So then, you know, we want to go mobile first, but since these applications have been around for a long time, that's not going to be easy. So one of the applications we're running right now is a mobile app that basically attaches itself to three legacy applications. Mm -hmm. And it's very messy when you do this because there are three different types of applications. And the gateways into those applications are more difficult. And so one of the apps is basically a logistics app. It's a pilot because we're trying to actually do this right and set up a framework where we will use, all, we'll use the same framework for all the other applications, especially when you're accessing legacy. And so the issue is, how am I going to grab three legacy data from three different databases, from different systems, and actually write back to them with updates. Same in logistics, you actually do this because you have to order parts, take parts, and so you have to put requests in and grab things back and forth. And so this is causing some issues because, of course, we have to go through all sorts of uh, ATOs because it's uh, three, three different groups are actually running the data, so it's three different data sources, so they all have to agree to it. They'll have to agree to the two-way interface and everything else, and so we're playing through that right now as to what it takes to actually do this. And that'll be the model that we're going to use for all the other legacy attachments that we have to do for mobility now. Because it, it seems to be the way we have to go. We have too many legacy applications sitting there that we cannot convert immediately. I mean, we want to go mobile first, but really, it's really difficult because you have this infrastructure base of us, two, 3,000 applications sitting there that you have to maintain. And the question becomes, how quickly can you actually take those into a mobile environment? And we're finding that it takes a while, obviously, because you have to do the analysis and everything else in the connectivity. And all that refactoring and, and figuring out how to pull all that data together, fuse it onto the desktop into a, a sort of a mobile device and do it securely, right? And that's not an easy thing that's to do. Easy, and we're trying not to refactor the, the legacy as little as possible. Right. Because right. it takes forever to, <laughs> to go through that program and change it. Are you using any automated tools to do that, or is it just a, sort yeah, of a... Some yeah. automated interfaces that mm -hmm. we're working with right now because of the different legacies that we have to interface with. You can't actually go into the database, per se, because they're all front-ended by you know, legacy software. So you have to go through the software, and you can pull the data in and out and look like you're a normal user to that, to that legacy application. And so it's, it's a challenge to do this, but again, it's the way that we have to go because of all the applications that we have right now. Sure, 